old is the latest uh, M. Night Shyamalan movie that came out this weekend. Um, I've always been a big fan of M. Night Shyamalan movies, you know. Sixth Sense, Signs, Unbreakable, Split, Glass, uh, The Visit, The Village. Most of his movies I really liked. The only movie I did not like that he did was The Last Airbender. I couldn't get into that one. So, the movie Old is basically about this family um, that are going on their one last vacation before the mother and father divorce. And they go to this beautiful, very, very beautiful uh, beach. Um, and the island, like, in the movie is, is very beautiful as well. They go there, along with this other family. And when they go there, things are going wrong. Um, they end up discovering a dead body of a woman at, at the beach. And they end up, all of a sudden, the kids there are getting older by the hour. Like, they go from six, six years old to 11 years old, and then from that to 15 years old, then from that to a grown adult. It, this movie gets really, really crazy by the moment. And it's them trying to figure out what exactly is going on. And, like, because they know, they think that the beach has something to do with this, you know. Weird stuff has happened at the beach, and that's, and people are getting these weird illnesses. Now, this movie right here, you know, like I said, I've been a big fan of M. Night Shyamalan for a very long time. This one is, I like this movie, but it's not my favorite one. I mean, I, and I guess, of course, like, M. Night Shyamalan, he had, there is a twist in this movie. I'm, I'm not going to say what that twist is, but the twist to me was kind of like head-scratching to me. The twist, it took me a little, little bit to try to figure out what exactly was happening. And I was so confused. I had to look it up, up and see what, what was going on exactly. That's how, I, I mean, you know, M. Night Shyamalan's movies, his movies can be confusing, but they can be entertaining. And he does some great jobs with his movie choices. Um, you know, there, he, he's, there's just something about his movies that are just so great. I mean, I'm not going to say this movie was absolutely disappointing, but it was a little disappointing. Um... I mean, there, there are some great actors in this movie. I know M. Beth Davis, I think that's her name, is in this movie, who also who played the teacher in Matilda, who I've talked to a couple times on Instagram. Very nice lady. Um, so probably out of five, out of, out of, on a scale of one to ten, I'll give this movie eight and a half. The movie could have been way better. But I, I do appreciate that M. Night Shyamalan did another movie. And, I mean, I, will I, do I like it enough to get it on Blu-ray? Um, I have to think about that. I mean, I might get it at some point. I don't know if I'm going to want to get it the second it comes out, the Blu-ray. I don't know yet. i got to think about it first. So, either that or probably just get it on Black Friday or something. Um... But, yeah, there's really nothing else I could say. I mean, I will admit, though, the, the the setting with this movie was beautiful. It was absolutely beautiful. As you've seen from the trailer, it's it's beautiful. Um, but, guys, thank you so much for watching this review. Um, hope you guys enjoy this movie, or it, the video, and hope you go see the movie. Definitely check it out if you're an M. Night Shyamalan fan. It's definitely not a bad movie, but it's definitely not my favorite. Um one, but I still think it's worth watching. I mean, didn't, I didn't think it was terrible, but um, thank you for watching.